Hello there everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be going over the old lure clips. You know, the lovely little lure clips. I've got four different ones here. I've got the uh, I've got the JB, I've got the Breakaway, the Tronics and the Snapling. So let's dive into the video. Right, the first on the uh, on the agenda is the um, is the Tronics. Now I've used these for years. However, there is a slight little flaw with these. And now, now I don't know if you can see that, but that bloody pin is great. It goes on most lures, but when it comes to using a kimono too, like I'll show you, I've got one handy somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna be able to find it now. Oh, where it is? Like this, the kimono too, the, the chameleon. Bloody great though, I tell you. Orange, I don't know why they do that orange. I think that's orange is supposed to be good over uh, Kelpie sort of areas. Anyway, you try and get that bloody thing in there. It's an absolute nightmare. Well, you could imagine if you're night fishing, a bit like tying a bloody knot actually. Oh look, oh no, no, still didn't get it. That is an absolute fucking pain to get it on. I mean, you'd have to bend that out a little bit. To, only for these ones. I mean, it goes on most of the other ones. Easy. Let's have a little look. Let's get another one, shall we? Right here. DC9. Another blinding lure, to be honest. I can get the fucking hook out of my finger. Right. Look, the DC Nettles. It goes on there easy. Look. Doddle. Absolute doddle. No problem. But, unfortunately, not for the Kimono 2. And that's one of my favourite little lures. Right. Next on the old, uh, next on the old lure clip list is the uh, the snap link. Now these are pretty good. I must admit, pretty good. The only trouble is, what I don't like about them is the fact that I think these were more designed for like um, bait fishing, you know, sea fishing, bait fishing, because these actual clips are massive, great big things. Anyway, but what I find I struggle with is getting the bloody things to to unpop. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's quite hard work pushing that bloody thing down. If you get a pair of pliers, it's a, it's a piece of piss, but that is a nightmare. Just get in, will ya? Oh, there you go. It's in now, but to me, another one too much hard work you don't you don't want to be mucking about especially when you you're fishing in the dark you know i mean you can say you can put your light on but it's not always practical to put your light on i don't think so i don't think so anyway i think it flights the fish away you have to turn your back on the on the turn the turn your back on the way you you're fishing if you want to put your light on only in my opinion right the next one is the uh the breakaway clip now I love this, and this pretty much goes on anything. I mean, it goes on the uh, on the kimono. Bit of a struggle, but most most of them are anyway. Now, um, the only thing is with this is they're great, but I think I bought the wrong size. They just seem a little bit too small, but I haven't used them yet. They're going to be my lure clip for this year, for 2020, if we ever get out there. I mean, obviously, we're all uh, sort of in lockdown at the moment. That's hence why I'm trying to do some of these videos. Trying, as he says. Right, that's the uh, breakaway clip. Now, last but not least is the JB. Now, this is Bassman's favourite. I mean, I've never known him to use anything else, to be honest. But the only thing I don't like about these is that they're a pound each. I'm sure they're a pound each. Not only that, they're quite hard to get hold of, and uh, the thing is that I think Bassman, I think well, he bought them in the hundred, a uh, hundred of them. That's probably why they're hard to get hold of. He's probably got them all, but you know. And the other thing about them is you have to sort of bend that little bit out a little bit. I'm not going to do it now, but because this one's already been done, but just that little lip, a little bit that way, it goes on everything. It's pretty good like that, but you still have to be able to see what you're doing when you're when you're. Um, Obviously, when you're night fishing, in a day fishing, it's not a problem at all. I mean, you don't mind having a little flitter around, but I can't, you know, it gets on my nerves. And when you get my age, your old eyes ain't so good as what they used to be. It's hard to see things like that, especially in the bloody dark. 
you know what I mean? So that's the JB clip. That's probably the number, that would probably be my number one choice. I've only got two of them, so I'll probably save them for a little while, to be honest. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the lure clips rounded up. 